Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm like Creative Video News here, and today we have, well, the return is kind of return. I don't know why my mouse is doing that. Um, anyways, I'll just proceed like this. Um, so first, on this side we have the SSS Slayer, and then we have the Battle Cruiser Charles Victor. Alrighty, let's get started. Start off with the Charles Victor. Those are slow APS shells, don't seem to be hitting. I'm questioning. I'm pretty sure these are railgunned, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm pretty, those are those are railgunned. But that, they're not too fast, it seems like. It has been a while since I've looked at these entries, so. Ooh, pretty big hits. A lot of blocks caught. And there goes the torque protection. Uh, I'm pretty sure the Solari uses torps, so that might be a bit dangerous. Oh, but it seems like the Charles Victor does also has some decoys. Some sonar target simulators. Anyways, here comes the next volley from the Charles Victor. Who is pretty good? Who's crammed to this as well? Some bullet confetti. I don't think going a full. I don't think front sliding with this turret setup is a good idea. I wonder how devastating these would be if they had a little bit more of Paleo Compactors. Because they seem like they have really short reload. Because I remember, if I remember correctly, these have a 16 second reload. Well, not like, you know, reload plus. Well, not plus, but like reload by itself. Like the actual packing time. The shot preparation time is like 6 seconds for 2,000 mm cram, so. Oh, okay. Anyway, this next volley is going up. Straight. Or is it straight near the turret? Seems like most of the guns are obviously at the far Overall, Charles Victor is now a 11.1% lead. The APS gun doesn't seem to be referring though. Seems like there's a pretty big hole next to it. I'm not sure if it's directly correlated, but there's a fairly good chance it is. Yeah, the slow turret, slow turret traverse on the guns really... I don't know, makes them quite painful to, you know... Do constant 360s. Oh, that was a pretty short reload time, you have to admit. Charles Victor doesn't be listening quite far back. I think this came from like the second volley. A lot of compartments were breached. Same thing for the <laughs> same thing for the slayer though. Rear is dripping quite hard against the water. So the Frag crowns when the AP I don't know what to call them. I'm pretty sure they're armor piercing. Armor piercing frag. So if they go through the deck. They do a lot of damage. 
Yeah, you can see that the, the fragments are centered about like here. And yeah, there goes the first round. Alrighty, let's move on to the next one. That's one point special victory. Alright, let's get round two to rolling. That shell took about 2.5 seconds to fly to there. So it's about, I'd say about 900 meters per second with this uh, APS that I was firing at. Seems like quite a bit of the cram to damage. Might not be critical damage, but there's still damage. Yep, still not critical damage. Oh, I might. No option. Might not be fun after this. Oh, her legs. Yeah, that yellow tire is. Pretty quick. I just wish it was like a super cavitation base for like the crams or something. <laughs> you just see a string of bullets just heading towards the superstructure. So there is down to 90%. 80 per 88%. percent Yeah, those crimes are pretty nasty. I guess like like in their own state they're a bit weak, but the rate of fire just makes them pretty nasty all around. The solar is losing quite a bit. Um, Charlie Victor does seem to be fine it for now. It's a butt maybe dripping a little bit into the water, but that's pretty much it. It's a pretty severe list you got there. And yeah, it's probably 80% same thing. Yep. Well, there goes round two. And now this is a. Uh, well, not guaranteed, but it's still, you know, vote could change it. But you can still keep up. <laughs> Look, the crane just hit and then they just fire again. Yeah, 
had these shoots very often. And for like such a slow reload, first I mean such a fast reload, was, they deal quite a bit of damage. So it is impressive. Those are broadside guns or nothing or nothing to wish. No. Or like they they something about shaking a stick at them. Yeah, it's worth that. Seems like the Falcon and Fall of Victor did not watch the song. Once again, I have to say that I love the Solaris deck pattern. It looks amazing. Yeesh, I thought that the uh, Solar might have a chance this round, but the gap is widening so pretty quick. Really, is like the Shell Victor. By itself in a vacuum. But I'd say I have actually pretty weak on it. Because its guns tend to get so good. I mean, even the M107 managed to disable some of those. So it does live up to that battle cruiser. Well, but similarly, two battle cruisers, it has a lot of fire power. If only this level was a bit more stable, you know, this lady could have been on the bottom or something. I heard you do this. Here we go. Seems like they are distracted. Where is the DC town? It's on the top of Unfortunate, but. Well, unfortunate but necessary, but. Yeah, it's quite unfortunate. The slur was a very good looking ship. If it doesn't manage to rise from the depths, I don't think it'll. I think it'll be a little bit better. Might steal the statue. Okay. Ten seconds left. And then down she goes. Alright, that has been three consecutive wins for the Charles Victor. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.